Hello and welcome. Janet Beckers here with a short and sweet total teaching episode of Romance Your Tribe Radio. Now today I'm going to introduce you to the concept that I think of as reverse success. How do you know that what you are putting out there to the world with your marketing is actually the right thing that's going to result in your business growing and you building success. So what I'm going to be introducing you to today is the strategy that I use all the time when I'm making decisions about my marketing and what is the right message and how do I make all of those tiny little decisions that you're making all the way when it comes through to getting your message out there and making the right offers. So I'm going to introduce you to that because this is something that I do every, just practically every single week when I'm helping people make decisions on our um, Attract Your Tribe Accelerator video huddles, walking them through this process and it makes things so simple. So if you're finding yourself wondering, you know, what should I talk about on this Facebook Live? What should I talk about on a podcast episode? What should I be having as my opt-in? What should I do when I'm putting together a series of drip-fed follow-up emails when people have opted in? What should I be putting in a webinar? What should I be talking about if I've given an opportunity to be a podcast guest or a, um, a presentation you know, to a networking event? What should I talk about? What is the topic that I should do? If I'm writing a book, what should I, out of all of the things that I can think of that are really, really possible for me to do, what should I choose as the topic? What should I choose as the title? Where should I market it? These things are all leading to the one thing. So that's what we're going to talk about today. This is going to help you to make all of those little micro decisions and also help you decide what not to put out there. Because you know what? Sometimes that's the hardest thing because there are so many things that you know that you can be sharing, so many things that you know you can be helping people with that it is really, really difficult to make a decision out of all of those possible things, which is the most appropriate for me to, to do. How do I make that decision what not to talk about? That's the toughest one I always find. Okay, so let me introduce you to this concept. It is so simple. It is so ridiculously simple. <laughs> But it always amazes me how few people do it when it comes down to actually making these decisions. And this is start with the end in mind. So I'm going to walk you through what do I mean by that. And I also have a worksheet for you that goes along with today's podcast that will guide you through the process. So you can make these decisions yourself um, and get some clarity and know that when it comes to making those decisions, if you're finding that difficult or you realize that, you know what, I don't have enough insight into what it is that I'm helping people to do, then that's where I come into it, baby. So just know that that's my specialty to help you. So let me now walk you through this decision process and know that I've got that cheat sheet for you, that worksheet that goes with this episode. If you're watching this on the website, Totally cool. It is down below. If, however, you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, or if you're listening to this on iTunes or wherever good podcasts are found, um, just click the link where it says to go to the podcast page um, or romantualtribe.com and just go and search underneath the podcast and search for reverse success and you'll be able to find it. Okay, I've got that out of the road there for you, but don't forget you've got that, okay, because that's going to help you to be able to take action. So let me introduce you very, very briefly to how the concept works and then how do you apply it. Doesn't, I don't want you to start with the idea of what do I have as an opt-in. This is one of the most common things that I get from people. What should I have as my opt-in gift? Or what should I be talking about? You know, if I do a Facebook Live, what do I talk about? What do I do with my posts? You know, I can't even come up with ideas. What do I, what do I do? Don't start there, okay? If that's the decision that you're trying to make and you're struggling with it, that is a sure sign that you need to go to the end first. Now, because you're in business, because 
your mission there is to help those people that you know that if you get those right people that with your product, your service, your consulting, your motivation, whatever it is that you do, that you know that you can help them to get from point A to point B. That is your business. That is what you that is why people pay you because they know that you're going to help them to solve the problem, to reach the goal that they want. Um, so from point A to point B. So you've got to be super duper clear on what is it that you sell. Now, this might sound to you like, oh, Janet, that's pretty obvious. But I tell you what, it may not be. Because when I often ask people, what is it that you're selling? They might go, well, I, I sell my one-off consulting. No, that is not what you're selling. Okay. First of all, if you're just you know, selling, selling your time, baby, we so need to talk because there are so more streamlined leverage and simpler ways for you to structure your business. But that is another podcast episode. And in fact, I'll put links down below because I've got some great ones to help you on that. But really what you are selling is an outcome. You are selling some kind of transformation. Now, if you're a coach, consultant, if you're a service provider, and quite often also if you have products, products that even though that's not my specialty is selling widgets, but if you're selling, all your widgets that you're selling are helping people to go from whatever their problem or their frustration to whatever their goal is, their aspiration, they're solved. So that's, that's what you're in the business of creating those outcomes. Now, I want you to be super clear on what is it, how is it that you're structuring what you do to be able to get people those outcomes. It could be one-on-one, -on -one, it could be an online course, it could be a bundle of um, your time and services and, and maybe some also, you know, worksheets, those sorts of things, you know, so some kind of done with you or done, you know, self, self guided, whatever it is, all those, there's so many ways that you can be right to get the solution. It could be running workshops, retreats, whatever it is, you've got to be super clear on what is it that you're wanting people to buy? What is it that you have to offer? So if you're not really clear on that, if you're just going, look, you know, when I get people, I just work with them and we get the results. That's, I want you to get clearer. You've got to be clearer on what is the transformational journey that you take people on and how do you do it? Like, what's your process? What's your transformational framework? So you've got to be super duper clear on those. So if you're not clear on that, don't even worry about what you're going to have as an opt-in. Now, wait till the end because I'm going to tell you in a situation where you do not do this. There is one situation where you don't, okay? So I'll wait for that. But you know, if, if you're not even clear on this, don't worry about what your opt-in and your video thing is. I want you to be getting super clear on if you get that person, if, if you're doing some marketing and people contact you, what's the next step? Okay, what do you want them to do? What is it that you want them to buy? So get super duper clear on that because everything else is irrelevant. Okay, now we're going to work backwards. Once you're super clear on what it is that you're offering people, what is the way that you help them? Then you need to know, all right, well, how am I going to sell it to them? What's the next step? It might be that you want to get on the phone with them. And that's really, really common if you've got a high price program. And that's what I do with my people who are my accelerators um, or the new program that we will be offering next year, um, you know, for the tribal business leaders. You know, you know, those higher levels where, you know, people, you've got to see if they're a good match and they've got to really understand, you know, what it is that you're offering. So it might be you want to get them on the phone. It might be that you want to send them to a sales page. You may be able to have enough information through that sales page that they can make a decision. And if you're um, at the time that this goes out, you will be able to get on the waiting list for what will be uh, the success the success circle, um, because that is something that you will be able to clearly make a decision based on the sales letter and know if it's right for you. That's for me. What you might have something that you have that people can go to a sales letter. But just be super duper clear. What is it? that? How is the way that you're wanting to sell it? Because that's also going to impact the next decision. So we know what it is that you sell, 
which means you're very clear on the transformational journey. We know how you're going to sell that. Now, the next thing that we, we want to know, okay, now we're clear on those. We've got to be really clear on, well, who? <laughs> who is going to be buying this? So we've already had the, the what. Are you going to sell? We're going to have the how are you going to sell it? We need to know who. Now, in my experience, people do not do this well enough. And in fact, that's a huge specialty that I've created, a very unique system called the Profitable Avatar Quadrant. And that really gets you quite clear on, there's usually four distinct avatars that you have, four distinct people who you can be helping. Some of those, there's going to at least one of those, sometimes two are the most profitable, that you, what you're selling is absolutely perfect for them. There will usually be one that it seems like it's perfect, but if you focus on them, you're going to go broke because they're just not going to buy. They're not going to take action. And then there's usually going to be one lot that, you know what, they really, really need you. And it's very, very easy to get sucked down that path. But you know what, it's they very often are not going to be the people who are going to be the most profitable for you. So that's a really important one for you to know. You need to know who are the most profitable. So if you're really clear on who you can get the best results with through your program, that's who you're going to help. So to do that, you need to really understand them. You truly need to understand who it is, who is most likely to get results with what you do. Who is it that's going to be motivated to be able to spend the money to get the results? And you can only do that by really diving in deep and knowing them well. So if you're thinking, I'm really not sure who I can sell it to, or you're going, oh, you know, this helps so many people. Eh, not a good thing. Okay. You really, really want to narrow your message down because if it's talking to everybody or if it's too general, your perfect, most profitable avatar won't even recognize that you're talking to them. So that is the who. Now to do that, you need to be super duper clear on what is their transformational journey that they're going on. What is it? Okay. So what is their point A and what is their point B? What's the transformation that you take them on? Really, really important. So you need to know that exceptionally well. You need to know their frustrations, the language that they use, and you need to know what is it that they need to understand or believe is possible before they know that they could buy. What is it that they need to understand? Is it, you know, that, that this is, these results are possible or that, you know what, these things that you think make it that you're not going to get the results. Let me debunk that for you. What do they need to know? Okay. So if you're not clear on that step, well, you've got a lot of them in place. You know what you're offering. You know how you're selling it. You've just got to get super duper clear on their transformational journey. Now, once we're clear on that, then the other pits fall into place. But here is where you've really got to take into consideration is sure you might have a way that you're helping them you have you have an understanding about the journey they're going on and what you can do to help what is it that is unique about the way that you work with people and that comes down to you understanding your own story your own transformational journey of why you why now why can you help them what is it about your personality, your character, your strengths, your quirks, your superpowers? What is it about your story? What is it about the results that you have got with people? What is it that you truly believe in that makes you stand out? All those things that position you as a tribal business leader. You need to understand your framework, why you have developed that framework, because otherwise everybody else that can help that person to get the results is going to look the same as you. So in order for you to be able to be very, very clear on what do you say on that webinar? What do you say when you're doing a Facebook Live? What do you do when you're thinking, what do I write for my blog post this week? That's always going to come back to the transformational framework you have, how you help people, what they need to believe, and leading them through to the solutions that you can get them. So that's work for you to do. And that's, in fact, that's the very first work that I do with every single one of my clients. Um, and that's, we call it the profit in you. And it's really a deep dive, but so, so clarifying. Um, so you need to do that. So because then it becomes so much easier for you to know what is it that I can be offering out there for free 
that is going to be really attractive to my profitable, my most profitable avatar that uses my language, my framework, the things that I believe in. So it is uniquely me. And that can very often be, you know, a really simple, you know, questions you need to ask yourself. You know, it's questions that your client needs to be able to answer to know, you know, if they can get a result. It may be a simple checklist that they can use. It can be one of the big things that frustrates them, even if it's only a tiny thing that you do. Have you got some solution that you can do for that? A simple guide, a video to walk them through something. Those sorts of things that's going to be showing that you know your stuff, but you understand their journey and you have a framework. So once you've got that, then it becomes so much easier for you to decide what is the most appropriate opt-in. What is the most appropriate series of messages for me to send them via email so that they get to understand that I under, that I know their journey and that it's possible for them and here's what I've got to offer. So if you work backwards, then you know that wherever you're getting people to start, where they, wherever they actually come into your universe, that all roads lead to the end point that you know that you're deciding. It's so much more streamlined. And all of those other things that you can do, you can sort of save that for when you're working with people or for extra messages that you can be doing as value adds but not your core stuff. So when you're deciding, what am I going to write my book on? Or how do I frame my book? Or do I need to change my book? Start with the end in mind because it is a marketing piece that goes in there as an example. Um, so that is um, reverse success. It streamlines everything for you. Now, remember, I've got that worksheet for you. And um, and if you need help with this, this is absolutely core to the work that I do. I take you from, you know, knowing that you've got clever stuff that you can do to help people. And you may already have a busy business doing that. But what can we do that's going to make it so that that thing that you're offering at the end, that it is streamlined, is going to impact as many people and give you freedom and really make a difference? Let's get clear on that and all those steps backwards so that we know that every message that you're putting out there to the world is totally congruent, that it all fits in. So that's my specialty. That's what I help you do. It's what my framework is. Now, um, and again, don't forget, I've got that cheat sheet for you. Now, I did promise you that there was one situation where this does not have to work, okay? And that is the situation when you're starting out and you're really not quite sure what it is that you're going to choose to be selling to people. When you may have a few things and you're thinking, well, there's all these different things I can be doing. What am I going to focus on? Like, what's my thing? In that, that case, you don't want to go to all that effort of having everything else set up if you haven't tested the market. So that is a situation where you will go, okay, I'm going to see if this particular topic that I know, so you'll be roughing out, you know, what I could be selling. You might be thinking, well, I could be selling, you know, a service or a product that solves this or maybe this part of a problem. Well, which is the one that I think is going to have the most leaks? Well, if I work backwards, I'm just going to put this one thing out there and I'm going to test to see how people resonate with it. So you might create um, an opt-in, for example, or it may even just start with uh, a blog post or a Facebook Live or something that you put all of your effort into promoting and getting feedback from people. And you might go, oh, that one tanked. Maybe this is not going to work. <laughs> um, or you know what? Oh, that one surprisingly got legs. So it will help you to be able to do your research. That's really the only situation where I'm saying don't work backwards. Though you'll notice I still worked backwards, didn't I? I just didn't do it intensively. I allowed myself to do a bit of an experiment at first to help me to get an idea of am I on the right track? Then you can go back and fill in the details and flesh out the important things. Okay, so I hope that has helped you. Um, and if you found yourself where you've already got the opt-in or you've put, you've, you've put your book out there or whatever it is that you're doing and you're thinking, it's not working for me. It's not, you know, I've done all this work. Maybe I need more traffic. Maybe it's me. I'm not putting myself out there. Um, all these other, all these different reasons. 
which all can be part of it. But I also want you to ask yourself, is it congruent? Like, does this actually have a really obvious path through the final thing? Because if so, it's going to be really difficult for you to grow your business around something like that because you'll just keep on flogging something, but it leads nowhere or it leads to somewhere vague. Or you know that that particular thing that you're, that you're marketing and putting out to the world isn't really congruent with what it is that you can offer. So you sabotage all the time because it doesn't feel right deep, deep down. That can be happening as well. So just know that if things aren't working, I want you to look at this, at this reverse success and see, does it all naturally link together really, really well? If not, this can be one of the answers to why things may not be working for you properly. Okay, I would love to hear from you. If you know, if you're here um, and you're on the web page, I'd love it if you leave a comment for me. Very few people leave comments on blog posts these days. It's all on social media or private emails that I get. Um, it's not just me. If it's happening to you, just know it's happening everywhere. Um, now, that's if you're on the blog. If you're seeing this on YouTube, yep, you can leave a comment there. Um, and if you're on iTunes, I would especially be grateful if you can help me let other people find me. And that can happen um, by you leaving a rating, a rating and a comment. That I would be very, very grateful if you would do that, if you would leave a review on iTunes. It only takes a couple, just a couple of minutes and it will help other people to be able to find this podcast um, and be able to get my help. And I would really appreciate that. Okay, go get them, folks. And I would love to hear from you, especially if you use the worksheet, the action plan, cheat sheet, whatever I'm going to call it, that I've got for you that goes with this episode. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, bye.